ultimately the patient has the final say. Uh, and, and I understand that. Uh, the doctors are the team that give me information that I could then sit and evaluate. Well, ultimately, I'm gonna make the final decision. And the decision I've already made is that yes, I am going to get uh, my left breast uh, removed. Uh, because again, I'm a man. Uh, it, 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 there's a 5% chance, I think, or 10% chance, I don't even wanna have that risk. When it's a simple, it's called a simple mastectomy, it's a simple procedure, uh, why even have a risk? Uh, so I'm looking to do that in the January timeframe. Uh, for me and eliminate as much risk that I can. Again, this procedure, you know, it's uncomfortable. Uh, there's some annoyance factor, but you know, when you look at the big picture that this could save your life, change your life, make your life better, uh, it's well worth the procedure. So that's the decision I've made already. Yeah, well, the time, the timetable for me also, uh, I have some conflicts in scheduling. I have like public speaking, I teach. Uh, and, and no, one thing that I also wanted to do, uh, and I shared with two of my staff members, uh, I have five uh, basketball injuries. Uh, my Achilles tendon, both knees, shoulders, collapsed my lung, all playing basketball. Uh, I purposely, in the music industry, when I had one of my knees done in New York, I went to work at Sony directly afterwards because I wanted to show to everyone, you know, you have to have this, this grit, this willpower. Uh, and I can't wait to share this with my students at Prairie View. You know, I've taught two classes and they had no idea that I had these tubes coming out of my body, you know, because I wanted them to know the mental toughness that's required. And so I'm really excited about it. It was really important to me that I went to class, that I didn't cancel, cancel class. And they have zero idea that that was going on with me. Well, I have to always mentally keep this in perspective also. The fight is not over for me. And I just want to, you know, I, I need to say that for me. The fight is every minute for me, every day for me. So I'm not gonna get this complacency that everything's great. Uh, you know, I've done things like lost 15 pounds and I uh, hope to lose another 10. I've done a thing like I don't consume alcohol anymore. You know, I've done some life changing things in my life. Uh, I meditate now to relax. You know, I also take a high blood pressure pill every day uh, because I have high blood pressure. So I know that I have other conditions. Uh, you know, we found that there's a, if you have cancer, there's a really high chance you can have heart disease. And if you have heart disease, there's a high chance you can have cancer. And so I have all of that in place. Do I live around in fear? You can't, you gotta go back to your normal life style. You can't do that, but you still have to have awareness and that awareness is the key. And that's what I want, hopefully, to get across to the viewer is having that awareness. So, so that has been a, a source of uh, confusion for me. And I'll tell you why. Um, I went to Philadelphia and spent the time there. And, and so I actually called uh, Dr. Domchek and I said, I'm a little confused. Am I a cancer survivor? Because all of the paperwork that I've gotten and no doctor is gonna ever say you 100% cancer free. Uh, I have a less than 5%, I can actually see the less than sign, 5% right down in my head, a less than 5% chance. But look at this, I'm a math guy. If I had a one in 100 chance, and now you're telling me I got a less than five chance, those numbers don't look too good to me. One in 100, less than five. So I, I'm just looking at it, knowing that we don't have enough information, but I'm still not like, running around rah, rah, I'm cancer free. Uh, so I asked Dr. John Tech, I said, based on what society is saying now, because a lot of people say they're cancer free, but in a 
generic kind of layman's term, am I cancer free? And she said, yes. So again, there's still always a risk though. 